Barnaby Jones, a Quinn Martin production. Starring Buddy Epson. Also starring Lee Merriweather, Mark Shera, with guest stars Lawrence Luckinbill, Margaret Impert, Andrew Robinson, Larry Bishop, Jim McMullen, Jenny O'Hara, Char Fontaine. Tonight's episode, Echo of a Distant Battle. Barbie, he lives in this apartment building, apartment 213. You sure it's Henderson? A uh, girl I talked to at the pool identified his photo, only, uh... Only what? Well, she said he calls himself Harley Jessup. Figures he changed his name. Is he home? I checked the garage. His car's there. Well, let's go have a talk with him. I'm telling you, someone's looking for me. How do you know? Someone's been around this place asking questions about me. Who? I don't know for sure, but I think we both have a pretty good idea. All right. I'll see what I can find out. In the meantime, you just play it cool. That's easy for you to say. I'm the one they're looking for. We're in this together, remember? Yeah, just so you remember, too. I'll be in touch. I don't know what you're selling, but I don't want any. I don't make my living that way. I am a private investigator, Barnaby Jones. This is my associate, Jedediah Jones. Uh, we'd like to talk to you. About what? A man named Colby Warner. Warner? Never heard of him. He was a captain in Vietnam. According to the Army, he and a corporal named Lee Henderson escaped from a military stockade in Saigon together. Neither man has been heard of since. So what do you want from me? I told you I don't know him. I think you do. As a matter of fact, we think that you're the corporal that escaped with him, Lee Henderson. And I think you're crazy. My name is Jessup, Harley Jessup, and I've never been in Vietnam or the Army. Take a walk. Uh, then this, this isn't a photo of you? All right. So there's some likeness of what? I think there's more than that, and it wouldn't take us long to prove it, so uh, why don't we come in and talk? I'll try to cut him off. Bystander. Innocent bystander. Get an ambulance. It's too late, Barnaby. He's dead.
My client's name is Dorothy Warner. You'll have to speak up, Mr. Jones. Warner. Dorothy Warner. Her husband, Captain Colby Warner, is listed as missing in action. And she hired you to find him. Will you give him a chance to finish, please? Mrs. Warner won't believe that her husband is dead until she has some proof. She and her father-in-law have made two trips to Vietnam, and on the last one, they got some new information from the Red Cross. What kind of information? The arm... <clears throat> Maybe I better have some water, John. The Army released a report that Captain Warner's name appeared on a list of deserters rounded up in Saigon, and that later he escaped with a Corporal Lee Henderson. Now, Mrs. Warner found out that Henderson was living in Los Angeles, and she came here to look for him. Once you couldn't find him herself, you hired Barnaby. And you found this Corporal Henderson? He had been living here under the name of Harley Jessup. So, uh, we went to talk to him, and... Uh, Lieutenant Biddle knows the rest. The DA's office would like to hear it in your own words, Mr. Jones. After we showed him a picture of himself taken in Vietnam, he tried to run away, and I caught up with him in the subterranean garage. I called out to him that uh, all that I wanted to do was to ask him about uh, Captain Warner. And uh, suddenly he started uh, firing at me, and finally I had to use my own gun. But it was in self-defense. Were you an actual witness to the shooting? No. Go on, Mr. Jones. I fired a warning shot, which uh, apparently ricocheted off some overhead pipes, and it... Uh... I believe his name was William Kelly. Yeah. William Kelly. Who, uh, must have walked into the garage just as I fired. That's it? What more do you want, Coburn? You got your statement. That'll be all, thank you. Mr. Jones, do you always use your gun so freely? Freely? You heard me. You always fire without any regard to innocent bystanders. There was no one else around at the time, Mr. Coburn. Coburn, I've known Barnaby for nearly 20 years. There's not a mark on his record. What do you call killing an innocent man, Lieutenant? It was an accident. Just try telling that to his family. Mr. Jones, my office intends to handle this case just as it would any other investigation. I wouldn't expect you to do anything else. Good. Because if I discover even the slightest hint of negligence on your part, I'm not only going to have your license, I'm going to prosecute you for negligent homicide. Is that understood? Every word. In the meantime, I want you to take his gun, Lieutenant Biddle. Now, wait a minute. He's had a license to carry a gun since before you were at diapers. Then we'll just have to revoke that license. He's right, Lieutenant. I'd rather have it that way. You'll be hearing from my office. Barnaby, it was an accident, and you know it. Yeah. Doesn't really change anything, does it? Barnaby, don't keep doing that to yourself. You get in touch with his family? We're still trying to locate his next of kin. He's from Kansas City. How old was he? 28. 28. I remember when my son was that age. He had his whole life ahead of him. His whole life. Match point, Tiger. Oh! 
Good game, Tiger. Uh, not good enough. Well, it could have gone either way. Oh, thanks. That's what I need, a stiff dose of charity. Come and get it. Don't you think that's enough in this heat? It is for me. Who what? Who do you think? Does he ever lose at anything, Adrian? I once beat him a backgammon. That's because you cheated. I didn't cheat. I just gave myself a handicap. You see why I have to stay on my toes, Tiger? Actually, I should be insulted, Elliot. Why is that? Oh, usually when we play, you'd at least pretend to concentrate. Today, it's obvious your mind was a million miles away. That's true, Elliot. Ever since that call this morning, you seem preoccupied. All right, all right. I confess, my mind was somewhere else. Zurich. Not gold again. The office called and said that if it keeps going up, we're going to have a 50% profit by the end of the month. Oh, I wish I had that problem. I gave you a chance to come in with me. You don't have to rub it in. You know, the trouble with old money, Elliot, it always feels more at home tucked away in old investment houses. Dark, dreary, and very safe. But you never have to worry about that. That's right, Tiger. All my money dates back to me myself. Elliot, isn't that that, that friend of yours, Harley? He's not a friend of mine. He's just a very good mechanic. I asked him to check out a sports car I'm thinking of buying. Darling, do me a favor. Take Neil inside and make him a real drink. This won't take a minute. He came out of nowhere riding a white horse. No one knew where he was from, only where he was going. An old Latin something or other. Well, why didn't you wear your tennis gear? We could have played a few sets. There's been some problem. I know. I heard the news. Seems our friend Kelly got himself killed. Yeah, he must have been watching my place. Yeah, it seems that way. What about this detective? Uh, was his name Jones? Did he talk to you? Yeah, he had a uh, picture of me and everything, and uh, so I split. Look, I got to leave town for a while. No, don't do that. If there's trouble, I'm going to need your help. You're the only one I can count on. I can't go back to my place. I'm telling you, Jones knows me. All right, find another place where you're not known. And don't go back to your old hangouts. You need money? Yeah, I just about run out of that last thousand you sent me. I'll take care of it. When you get yourself settled, get in touch with me. But do it by phone this time. I don't want to see you around here anymore. OK. What about this Jones? As far as I'm concerned, we owe Jones a favor for taking care of Kelly for us. And I heard on the news the DA is considering criminal charges against him. I don't think we have to worry about Jones anymore. You're dropping the case? I'm sorry, Mrs. Warner, but uh, the one lead we had, I let get away, and then I wound up killing an innocent man. I understand how you feel, Mr. Jones. This may sound selfish of me. After all these years, I finally felt that I was close to finding out what happened to my husband. What am I going to do now? There are a lot of uh, other private investigators, uh, very excellent ones. I'm sure there are. You seem to understand my problem. I was depending on you very much. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm truly sorry. You know what's bothering me about this thing, Barnaby? Why did Henderson react the way he did? I mean, I can understand him not wanting to answer our questions or telling us to leave, you know, but why did he run the way he did and start shooting at you? Don't you find that curious? He was a deserter, Jedediah. Well, there are quite a few deserters. I just don't think many of them carry guns. I mean, it's not like we were from the FBI. We couldn't do anything to them. We just wanted to find out about Captain Warner. You know, I thought about that myself, Mr. Jones, and it made me believe that if Kobe's still alive, he must be in some terrible kind of trouble, and Henderson has something to do with it. Mrs. Warner, we have not uncovered one shred of evidence to indicate that your husband is still alive. Now, maybe it's best that you accept the fact that he isn't and uh, let it rest and go on and live your life. No, I can't do that. Not without real proof. Mr. Jones, the Army is calling Colby a deserter. His own father, who was always so proud of him, is beginning to believe it. Well, I don't care if he's a deserter. 
If he's in trouble, I want to help him. Mr. Jones, I don't care what he's done. I want him back. JR, here's the information you asked for. Oh, thank you. What information is that? I thought I'd do a little checking on William Kelly out of curiosity, Barnaby. It paid off. <sighs> From Kansas City. Worked as a mechanic, no immediate family. Wait a minute. Kelly and Lee Henderson were in the same outfit in Vietnam. Let me see that. You know the odds against that being a coincidence? Barnaby, if Henderson and Kelly did know each other, then there's a good chance that Kelly was not just an innocent bystander. Yes, but we don't know that for sure, do we? Well, don't you think it's worth finding out? Barnaby, what are you going to do, just give up? You're going to spend the rest of your life drowning in guilt and feeling sorry for yourself? He's right. At least find out if there's a connection between the two men. Please, Mr. Jones. All right, I'll see what I can find out. Yeah, that's him. All the rotten luck. Now, the police said you'd be coming in from Kansas City to claim the body. They couldn't find any next to kin. He didn't have any. He was an orphan. No, that's too bad. You gonna take the body back with you? Well, we're not sure. We might even bury him here. Well, you'll have to sign this form. It just said that you'll be responsible for all the expenses. The man who shot him. Barnaby Jones? Do you know him? Only by reputation. He's been in business a long time. How many other guys has he sent here? Listen, son, I don't know what you're thinking. But Jones is a good man. This was an accident. A tragic one, but an accident. That may be true. But I'd say my friend got the short end of the stick. Wouldn't you? We'll make arrangements for the body. Thank you. What are we going to do now? Pick up where Kelly left off? I mean about Jones. And what do you think? I was asking for Harley yesterday. Good memory. Can I sit down? Oh, be my guest. Thank you. Can I ask you something? Sure. What's it like being a private detective? I mean, is it really exciting? Well, it has its moments, I suppose. Good morning. I'm, uh... I know who you are. I saw you talking to the police yesterday, remember? What do you want? I was wondering if I could get a look at Henderson, um, Harley Jessup's apartment. Why don't you go up and ask him? I think we both know that he hasn't come back. And you expect me to let you win? I was hoping, yes. Well, you sure have your nerve. After what you did to that young fellow yesterday, if I say no, you're gonna shoot me too? It wasn't like that. I know what it was like. I saw that kid laying in a pool of blood. I even had to wash it down after they took him away. Tell me, Jones, how'd you sleep last night? I didn't. Thank you for all your help. I hear the DA is investigating this. Well, I hope he puts you away, Jones. And I don't ever want to see you around here again. If I do, I'm going to call the police. You got that? Well, thank you for the information. Thanks, Della, 323. My apartment number. Listen, maybe sometime we can get together and you can tell me about all your adventures. That sounds like a nice way to spend an evening. I'll see you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Barnaby! Any luck with the manager? No. Well, I might have something. A girl I was just talking to said that Henderson had a girlfriend who used to come around here a lot, and they got to talking a few times at the pool. Does she know her name? 
Just a first name, Candy. Got to talking about jobs once, and this Candy said she was a dancer. Did you happen to mention where she worked? Uh-huh. Place called the Body Palace. <laughs> find a place to stay. Has there been anyone around here looking for me? No. Really, what's this all about? It's nothing. Hey, some guy gets killed and you hey, say it. Hey, come on, beautiful. I'm telling you, there's nothing to worry about. Now, why don't you go change and I'll show you my new place. I mean, it's not much, but it's comfortable. Okay. Look, I've got two more numbers to do. You wait for me. <laughs> Are you kidding? calling, please? One second. Elliot, hmm? it's that Harley. Shall I tell him that you're busy? No, no, I'll take it. Probably just something about the car. Hello? I thought I told you to call me only at the office. I tried, but your secretary said you wouldn't be in today. All right, all right. What is it? I found the place. You better take down the number. Yeah, go ahead. 555-6128. I'm also going to need that money. You'll get it. I've got some news for you, too. Curtis and Parker are in town. They're here? How do you know? Called Curtis's wife in Kansas City, said I was an old friend. You just keep your eyes open. Elliot, I don't like what's happening. First Kelly, now the others. What if they find me? You just make sure they don't. Remember Nam, Corporal. We kept our eyes open, we were very careful, and we came through without a scratch. Works the same way back here. I hope you're right. I can't afford to be wrong. I'll be in touch. Okay. You're working very hard. I'm writing out the invitations for our party. What party? Our first anniversary. Don't tell me you've forgotten. Oh, yes. <laughs> I did. And how could I? This has been the happiest year of my life. Mine, too. Is there anyone in particular you want to invite? Oh, just the usual four or five hundred. No, I mean any of your friends. I thought your friends were my friends. They are, but... Elliot, you must have known someone before you met me. Let me think. No, no one at all. Elliot, I'm serious. Do you know that I have never met a single friend of yours? It's almost as if you didn't exist until you popped up at that boring party and asked me out. Do you know what they call you at the club? I can imagine. The Great Gatsby. Hmm. No, that's the truth. The man of mystery. No past, only a present. Do they also say that I made it on my own, without any help from your family? They do give you some credit for that. Good. What else do they say? That you probably did something unspeakable in your past. No question about it. And that you don't make your money trading gold, but in organized crime. I confess. I am public enemy number one. And? And what? It'll all come crashing down one day. I'll wake up, and you'll be gone. Do you believe that? No. 
But I feel better knowing a little more about you. All right, I'll make a deal with you. Some night when you can't sleep, I'll tell you the story of my life. I guarantee it. You'll doze off before you know it. Elliot, be serious. I am. Honey, if I don't talk about my past, maybe it's because I'm not that proud of it. As far as I'm concerned, my life began the day I met you. You're the only thing in this world that I care about. Do you buy that? I'd be crazy not to. Relax, will you? The answering service said the secretary's out to lunch and there's nobody else in the office. Let's get Check those files. I'm gonna see what's in here. Fine. Bobby, you back already? says her last name is Harper. Jedediah? I heard you, Marty Harper. Miss Harper, uh, my name is Barnaby Jones. This is Jedediah Jones. Good for you, fellas. I understand that uh, you were go with uh, Harley Jessup. Jessup? No. Name doesn't ring any bells. Candy, why are you protecting him? Jedediah. There he is. Look out, Jedediah. Stay out! You all right? Yeah. Let that be a lesson to you. Never chase an armed man unless you have a gun. Let me understand you, Mr. Warner. You're saying you want me to stop looking for your son? That's right, Mr. Jones. Why? How many disappointments can we take? I was so proud of my son. I remember when he told us he wanted to make the military a career. His mother was against it. She, she was afraid of what might happen to him. But 
That day he became an officer was one of the proudest days of our lives. I'm sure it was, Mr. Warner. I didn't want to lose him, but if it had to be, well, then at least I'd be left with the memory of a brave man, not of a deserter. Dad, if he did desert, there's a chance he's still alive. And hiding from his own family, from you? We don't have all the circumstances of the case, and it's possible we never will. And maybe that's for the best. To tell you the truth, Mr. Jones, I'm just afraid of finding out anything else. Well, I'm not. If all this leads to finding Colby, I don't care what else we discover. Mr. Jones, I hired you, and I want you to stay on the case. That's good enough for me. For me, I went back to the body palace, and the bartender told me that Candy left with Henderson. He must have picked her up after we lost him. Were you able to get her address? Yeah, but she's not there, but I'll stay on it. Betty, I'm going with Dorothy to talk to a Major Scott. He served with Captain Warner in Vietnam, and he may know something. We'll need the uh, Henderson file in case the Major wants to take a look at it. Mm -hmm. Mr. Warner, would you like us to drop you off at your hotel? If it's not out of your way. No, not at all. Barnaby, the Henderson file, it isn't here. You sure you put it back? I'm positive I... Oh, wait a minute. When I came back from lunch this afternoon... The door was open, and so was the file drawer. I, I almost had the feeling someone had been here. That's very interesting. You think Henderson could have gotten somebody to steal it for him? That's possible. Or else we're not the only ones interested in him. Damn, Jones knows less about where Henderson is than we do. No other address on him? Just the one Kelly had. Does it say who Jones is working for? Dorothy Warner. She's looking for her MIA husband, Captain Warner. <laughs> well, where do we go now? You remember the time Kelly called us and wanted to take Henderson by himself? Yeah. You uh, told him to wait until we got out here. Where did he say Henderson was at the time? Um, working out at a gym. That's right. You remember how Henderson was always pushing weights in Nam? Well, it looks like he's still doing the same thing here. We just have to figure out where he works out. You know how many gyms there are in this town? Teddy, it doesn't make any difference. We just start with the ones closest to his apartment. Come on. Order me some champagne. The French kind. Hello? Let me speak to Elliot, please. He's not here right now. I don't expect him till later this evening. This is a Harley. We uh, tell him to give me a call as soon as he gets in. Is there anything I can tell him? Just tell him it's important. Does he have the... How long are we just going to sit around here? Well, maybe I'll go work off some steam. Well, that's great. What am I supposed to do? Just sit around and watch the paint peel off the walls? Well, you could find a market. We don't have anything to eat. We don't have any plates or silverware either. You sure have a weird idea of comfortable. I think I'm going back to my place. I can't go anywhere near that place. Don't you think Jones has your address by now? Harley, you're hurting me. I'm sorry. Hey, maybe, maybe if I knew what it was about, I could help you. It's something that happened a long time ago. The less you know about it, the better. Wait a 
Take over, Mac. <coughs> Mr. Jones? Major Scott, Dorothy's been telling me a lot about you. Only believe the good stuff. You're looking beautiful today. You don't look so bad yourself. I need that. Why don't we sit down? That's quite a game. Yeah, can you believe they're thinking of trading me to the Lakers? Well, from what I've seen, uh, the Lakers could use you. Do. Well, Mr. Jones, I don't know what else I can tell you about Colby that I haven't already told Dorothy. When is the last time you saw Captain Warner? It was uh, 1972, March 6th. I remember it exactly because Colby just come in from a patrol and I was just going out on one. and We had coffee. And he filled me in on the terrain. He said it was crazy out there. There was Viet Cong everywhere, only you couldn't see them until they were right on top of you. Uh, he was right, because later that afternoon, my entire company got pinned down near the Delta. I lost 15 men, not counting the wounded. And that's where I got it. But about six months later, Captain Warner's company was all but wiped out in a similar battle. Yeah, that's right. But he was never accounted for. You have any ideas on that? Yeah, war keeps lousy books. Bodies disappear, soldiers get captured, lost. I deserve run away. No, not Colby. I knew him too many years to believe that. What about the report that he was picked up in Saigon later and escaped? Well, if you believe all the reports the Army issued, you end up talking to yourself. You ever run into a Corporal Henderson? Well, I heard about him, that's all. Um, he was in another company. What about a soldier named William Kelly? Kelly? That name's familiar. I mean, he was a sergeant. He was part of the Wild Bunch. The Wild Bunch? That was a name given to a handful of men who were always getting into some kind of trouble. As a matter of fact, Henderson was part of that group. Let's see, there was uh, Joe Collins. He got killed later. Uh, Ron Curtis. And a Ted Parker. Uh, I don't remember the others. What kind of trouble? You name it, black marketing, drugs, stealing. You see, Mr. Jones, it was an unpopular war. It wasn't the kind that produced heroes. And I saw men who'd never been in trouble in their entire life suddenly go haywire and do the craziest things. Now, Major, you're not going to like this next question, but I have to ask it. Was Captain Warner involved with the Wild Bunch? You're right. I don't like the question. The answer is no, Mr. Jones. Absolutely not. I believe you. I know, Kathy. It's that time again. Can you believe it? What a life, huh? Right off the playing field, into the whirlpool. I bet Joe Namath never had it so good. Next, you're going to be on television. Why not? Mr. Jones, uh, I have some more information and photos at home. If you're interested, give me a call, OK? Well, I've got a better idea. Why don't the two of you go to dinner with me tonight, and we can talk about it then? It's great with me. Sure, I'd love to. What's your favorite restaurant? Um, uh, Donatello's. Donatello's, 8 o'clock. <laughs> I'll be there. See ya. <clears throat> Quite a guy. I don't know what I would have done without him. Hi, Pop. Haven't seen you around lately. Been busy. How about a towel? Good thing. Has anyone been around asking about me? Nope. In case anyone does, you haven't seen me, OK? I don't even know who you are. Thank you, Pop. Have a good workout. Barnaby Jones Investigations, may I help you? Betty, Jr. is Barnaby there? Oh, no, he isn't. He's having dinner with Dorothy and Major Scott, uh, but I should be hearing from him shortly. Uh, where are you? Candy Harper's place. Then you found her? Not quite, but her roommate let me in. Her roommate? Blonde brunette or redhead? 
Ah, uh, well, strictly business, strictly business. Thank you. For what? Uh, never mind. Listen, just, just tell Barnaby that Candy's closer here, so she has to be coming back. And you're going to stay there until she does, hmm? Oh, listen, Betty, when I'm on to something, I stick to it. You old bulldog, you. Later. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. So tell me, what other magazines have I seen you in? <clears throat> You're looking real good, Corporal. <laughs> Ron, dead. What are you two doing here? I haven't seen you since now. Yeah, it's been a long time, hasn't it? This is some surprise. Hey, let me just, let me just put this down. That's what I always liked about you, Lee. You made things happen. Come on. I was collecting them to write a book, My Naked and the Dead, about the faces in a different kind of war. Not a lot of heroics, but a lot of damn good men. What happened to the book? I'm betting he still writes it. Maybe. Once I can look at it from a better angle. I don't want it to sound bitter or self-pitying. And yet, if I told you the thought of spending the rest of my life in this chair didn't fill me with a little of each, I'd be lying. Write it the way you feel it. Kelly and Henderson. Yeah, that's the wild bunch. Who are the rest? Well, there's Ron Curtis, Ted Parker, and that's Joe Collins. Colin? That's the one you said got killed? Yes. Who's this in the background? You know, I can't make that guy out. Seems to be wearing officer's bars. Yeah, but not everyone was a member of the wild bunch. Yeah. Could I keep this a little while? I'll see if you get it back. Sure, if it'll help, of course. Thank you. How about some dessert? Hmm. <laughs> yes. What do you have? Uh, Zablioni. Me too. You uh, wouldn't have a hot fudge sundae, would you? Not here. I'm telling you, I haven't seen the lieutenant since Nam. He ran out on me, too. He double-crossed all of us. Is that why you changed your name? Look, Ronnie, I, I got into some trouble a while back. I didn't want anyone to find me. Especially us, right? Uh, that's not true. I didn't know Kelly was looking for me when he got killed. You're a liar. You were always the lieutenant's dog. Wherever he was, you were right at his feet, ready to do his dirty work. You know something, Lee? I think it's the same way now. You're going to tell us where he is. I swear I don't know where he is. On my mother's life, I swear. I don't know. Oh. <sighs> okay, Anderson, where is he? <sighs> All right. Come on, come on, answer it. And don't do anything stupid. Hello? What's so important this time? What? Why are you calling me here? I had a run-in with Jones again. What happened? Nothing. I got away. You want to see him tonight? Elliot, I got to see you. What about? The money that you promised me. I got to have it. You'll get it tomorrow. No. It's got to be tonight. What's so important about tonight? Jones, what if he finds out where I am? I got to get out of here. Is something wrong, Harley? No, I just gotta have the money. You'll get it tomorrow, first thing in the morning. Wants to borrow some money. Trouble with his girlfriend or something. So you don't know where he is, huh? So you haven't been in touch with him. He warned me not to say anything. He said he'd get me if I did. I was afraid. All right, all right. Come Lee. Lee, you don't have to be afraid anymore. Not of the lieutenant. If I tell you, will you let me go? 
What do you think? Sure. You never did anything to us. We were buddies, remember? Part of the wild bunch. That's right. So where is he? Okay. I'll give you his address. Liz, you've got to help me. Candy, what is it? What's wrong? It's Harley. Someone's beating him up. Well, who? I don't know. He's in some kind of trouble. Candy, where is he? What? <gasps> well, I don't know. Yes, you do. I can't tell you. You want to help him? <gasps> yes. Well, the only way you can do that is to tell me where he is. Well, I hope this has all been of some help to you, Barnaby. It's given me something more to go on. There's no question about that. Good. But you still think Henderson is the key? Yes, I do. And I have the feeling that we're not the only ones looking for him. Excuse me, Mr. Jones. There's a phone call for you. You Thank can you. take it right over there. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Yeah. Barnaby, I found out where Henderson is staying. I think we better get right over there. What's the address? All right, it's the Mirabelle Apartments, 1325 Culver Springs Road, apartment 210. I'll meet you there. Okay, I'm leaving now. Goodbye. Come on, Candy. Barnaby, it's too late. What? He was already dead when we got here. Did you call the police? Yeah, they're on their way. Barnaby, I'm really sorry. He was our only lead. Now we may never find Captain Warner. <laughs>